You guys, this new setup is giving. Sephora trip. Let's look in the bags. First of all, can we talk about how Sephora is not giving Sephora bags? They are giving real cheap. Like I get it. We need to save on plastic and stuff. Supermarket bags. It's giving supermarket. It's not giving Sephora. So we have quite a few goodies in there. Say what's up to the vlog. There's my girl. There's my other girl. My children. I'm not showing her too much on the vlog anymore. And she bought me a twenty-two dollar. Yes, I bought she her. She got me a $22 chapstick. Sister of the year, bro. Bought her 20. Who is calling me? To be honest, my sister's so beautiful. And she's mad cute. And, Hello. you know, she stays spoiling me Hello. as she should. He said <laughs> they got Blazing J's here. Like, what? I don't know what the hell Blazing J's is. But, all right, let's go. Yo, that way, that way. Baba always finding somewhere new to eat. It's chicken though. Good morning. Of course my camera's not focusing. I just got to my nail appointment. So we're getting it going, thank God. Let's see what we get. My camera's dying and I need to run to Starbucks. I'm in the process of getting a new camera and just upping some of the quality of my videos because as of right now, I think that's what's been making me like a little unmotivated is that I don't have like I haven't really upgraded a lot of my stuff since I started vlogging and that was in 2020 like right after I got monetized um, I started to vlog a little bit more so I don't know I just have been feeling a certain kind of way because I feel like my quality is not up to par it's not exactly where I personally want it so I don't want to be just forking content out and it's you know like for lack of a better term like shitty quality like i'm just not into that and i personally would rather not put anything out than to be pushing out something that i don't feel my best about this is like my creative outlet i like to talk to you guys i'm very much like not an introvert in real life but i am a very like reserved quiet person if like i don't know you so it's just one of those things where I just don't want to be putting out crappy content. So even though this footage is super dark, which you guys might not think it's dark, but I feel like it looks dark. So anyways, it is 3.40 right now. So I'm going to quick do my makeup on camera for you guys. And then am I going to do that? I'm lying. I'm going to film a video right now. And after I do my makeup, after I do that video, I'm going to then show you guys. I have like a couple little like hauls, Sephora haul, Target, and I have a couple of like PR unboxings to do that I wanted to show you guys. The haul, or not the haul, the video that I'm about to do, like the makeup video, is for the Makeup Forever foundation. This is the new HD Skin foundation. This literally just came out, so I'm excited to set up really quick and film this video. I'm gonna try to do it before like the sun completely goes down because 
like I said, I'm not really feeling this lighting setup with having my light right there. I just don't like that everything in the background just looks that much darker. That I think that's what's like throwing me off a little bit. And I look like a ghost with this auto setting. So I don't know if it's my settings or if I'm just not doing something right. But how stunning is this? So I just finished putting... Taking a poop. I did not just finish taking a poop. I was not pooping. Alright, so watch me like that in the bathroom. You're lying. I'm trying to be funny. He came home to take a poop. That's what he normally does. So I just finished doing my makeup with the new Makeup Forever foundation. And this is how it looks. Natural lighting. Mm, I don't know how I feel about... I don't know if the shade is what's throwing me off. Or what exactly is throwing me off as far as like on the skin I think it does look really nice before I got on back onto the vlog I was trying to record a first impression but my lighting situation it ain't it right now so I'm gonna wait to do that till tomorrow good afternoon it is two o'clock right now it's almost two o'clock today's Saturday February 26th so today's agenda so I went to Sephora the other day that you guys would have seen that already in the vlog I picked up the makeup forever HD foundation and like when I went to go do my review I couldn't even get through the review because the foundation just did not match like I don't know the girl was like, do you need help? And I was like, no. And then I was like, well, you know what? Whatever, you're already here. Like, you can color match me. I let the girl color match me, and I should have just went with the color that I thought I, I should have gotten, like, that I had in my cart already. And I didn't, and I let this girl give me a lighter shade. That's my fault. Um, so I have to go right now pick up my sister. I have a couple errands to run. Then we're going to go swap out the shade. And it's kind of just going to be like a mommy and me day, and my sister's going to tag along with us and yeah it's gonna be nice to have like an extra set of hands too because it'd be hard when it's just me and the baby like if I don't have Baba to like come and like take her out of the car and put her in the car and all that stuff it'd be hard like we're gonna go and do that and then I did have my eyes on a new vlog camera in my Amazon cart however Amazon's like behind on stuff right now and I don't know why so I found one at like a Best Buy and you know how they do like the they price match or whatever so I'm gonna see if they price match me and I'm just gonna go and pick it up I wanted to get the white one but they only have the black in stock and like honestly the black is probably the better one for me because with my camera it's not that I don't like take care of them I just feel like the white is just gonna get like scratched and the black one is just a better direction like my Canon G7X that I'm using right now this is a black one and it looks great I've had it for three years this year so for my birthday it'll be three years I got this in 2019 so yeah so that's that um I just wanted to match my phone because my phone is white so my phone and my camera being white I thought that would be cute but I don't feel like waiting until mid-April for a new camera so not doing it um and then also don't mind all the boxes behind me today Baba is doing a pop-up so all of this stuff look at this box this box is filled with beanies so everything stash I will leave the link below to the stash website stashapparel.com you guys already know I always have stash on today my leggings are stashed the other day my uh, t-shirt was stash so you guys already know stashapparel.com and yeah can you guys believe that these are like day four or maybe day five um, like crimps. Let me get moving. I just wanted to tell you guys what was on the agenda for today. B R B. So this is what I have right now. This is the Canon G7X. This is the Mark II. I do not think I'm gonna buy this here. I think I'm gonna buy this on Amazon because I think I've seen it cheaper on there. I'm back right next to the G7X that I already have. And here it is. This is the new guy that I'm getting today. This is the Sony ZV-1. And I actually have an Amazon price match. So it's actually not gonna cost me $7.49. I found it for $6.99, which I can't even believe that I found it. Um, can you check for me a camera? Yeah. Um, it's the Sony ZV-1. 
fingers crossed that they have it because I'm gonna be so mad if I drove this far and they don't have it. But I'm so excited. I've been meaning to get a new camera and now I finally can. So I'm excited. Oh, I hope they have it, I hope they have it. If they don't, I'm gonna be so mad. But if they don't have it, then I'm just gonna have to order it. The point of me driving 30 minutes was so that I didn't have to wait and I could have like instant gratification. Because I don't know if you guys are like me. I need the instant gratification. Like I need to buy it today. Like I want it today, I need it today. I'll wait every now and then, but. Sunday I was picking up my new vlog camera and I actually didn't unbox this yesterday because yesterday Leia got some shots so she was a little you know under, not under the weather but you know how babies get when they get shots they get like really sleepy and I was just trying to attend to my baby all day yesterday so I'm gonna do the unboxing with you guys now first things first I got the Sony ZV-1 if you guys watch anyone on YouTube you guys know this is kind of like the camera that I have right now as far as vlogging goes when I got my Canon G7X I got this as my birthday gift in 2019 Baba bought it for me and I have been using it ever since so it was just time for an upgrade and I feel like I've earned it and I also got the vlogger kit and then this comes like with the tripod and it comes like with a little extra memory card I don't know how I feel about this I did watch the Nicole Guerrero video and she obviously has the Sony but she has a different tripod I'm gonna try it out otherwise I do have other tripods that I could use <laughs> like I want to look but I am gonna put both of these images on the screen so that you guys can see the difference in quality from each one let me know which one you guys think is better um, the Sony ZV-1 has like a smoothing effect that you guys can see I like that I don't mind that my G7X I'm not getting rid of this camera or anything it's gonna just be like my backup vlog camera as you can see the Sony ZV-1 this one also is like a little bit more drawn into the face whereas this one the Canon G7X is giving me a little bit more of a distance. I can't even keep vlogging on that one because my memory card is full. Okay, so it's pretty late. It's like, it's 1.17 and I'm just popping on here real quick because I just wanted to show you guys the hair. Why am I so late to the Olaplex conversation? Um, hello, it is giving. It's giving body, it's giving length down the back. Hello. Um, I'm holding Lele because she got shots yesterday and like yesterday she slept all day and then today oh my goodness she was miss fussy wussy all day long I apologize if I keep looking at myself in this viewfinder it's just because I'm getting used to the Sony flip out camera being over here whereas my old G7X would flip out on top of the camera and that was just so much easier like for me, like when I would be looking at myself, it was easier for me to pop my eyes back down to the camera lens because it's right above it versus to the side. So I keep catching myself like looking to the side. So I apologize if it seems like I'm just like staring at myself, but I'm vlogging. So what can I do?
Wednesday, March 2nd. It is like 10 15, and I just finished feeding the baby. Got my iced coffee going. I did my little stretch this morning. I posted it on Instagram, like my little yoga mat or whatever. Um, I'm about to film a video. I need to get a trim so bad. Like, I thought that bumping my ends yesterday when I tried the Olaplex was gonna help my ends look a little bit better, but I do need to get a trim. So I think I'm gonna do that later this week or maybe early next week. So sorry if you can hear the music slash movie in the background. I just put Shrek on for the baby. I'm about to film a video that's gonna go up probably tomorrow. If not tomorrow, it'll go up Friday. But I wanted to finish unboxing the rest of the things that I got for my new camera. I already showed you guys the vlogger kit that I got. I also got this. I got like the basically like the little like ring light that goes above your camera. Do I not have scissors in here? This little Yulanzi light, I think is what it's called. I was watching Nicole Guerrero's video that when she showed her ZV1. The next thing that I'm actually gonna buy is like an external hard drive because my computer is gonna take a shit on me if I don't. So this is what the tripod looks like. It's really, really sturdy. It's a little heavy to be honest. Oh, don't tell me I need to charge it. I probably have to charge it, that's annoying. That's just like anything else that I'm sure. Oh, it's working. Okay, I'm gonna turn the light on. Give me light, let there be light. Even in natural daylight, I feel like this light really helps. I cannot believe it took me so long to invest in a new vlog camera because this little setup that's going on right here is giving, okay? So anyways, I'm going to real quick film this video because I have sponsored content in the video and I need to get that up tomorrow or Friday. I'm really praying to God to get it up tomorrow but i have two lash appointments today so real quick i hopped back onto my canon because i wanted to do an unboxing with you guys so i have two packages here the first one well they're both pr but the first one this one is gonna go into this week's weekly vlog and this one's from the makeup eraser and then this one here is from dossier i'm so excited baby Fragrance can be expensive, okay? So I'm super excited to open this. I'm actually filming a video right now and that's why I had to open this. You guys will see these in my video that I actually post before this vlog, but if you didn't see that video, I picked up powdery coconut and I picked up ambery saffron. Ooh, okay, packaging. Come through packaging. I love how this looks. <laughs> you don't forget to thumbs up my video guys if you didn't know um, in order for you to like thumbs up or leave a comment or anything I think you do have to have like a gmail account and have like a YouTube account but all you need is like your gmail or whatever it is that you use as an email to make like a profile um, that really helps people like myself who have like YouTube channels and stuff it really helps when you guys engage leave comments thumbs up stuff like that besides the point so I have been doing quite a little bit of shopping the last like two, three weeks and I have a couple of things that I wanted to show you guys. So the first thing I think I'm going to start off with is Target. So I went to Target a few weeks ago and I just picked up some stuff that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, some of the stuff I have started to already like try and use. The first thing that I wanted to mention is this Versed moisturizer this is so good of a moisturizer i've been using this and it's the skin soak rich moisture cream this is so bomb like i'm so ready to just ask curology for like the middle the little middle bottle of my regimen because i really don't need the cleanser for like the moisturizer i just like that middle bottle that's like the specially made for you bottle my skin is more on that dry combo side especially because it's like still a little bit cold outside so this moisturizer has been it for me even bob was using it and he's obsessed with it so the versed skin rich is 
amazing. Um, I also picked up the e.l.f. powder foundation. This was like a big thing on TikTok. And everyone was raving about this at the same time that they were raving about that cookies and cream whole line that e.l.f. came out with. I actually found a video and someone used this color and I'm, I know for a fact that this is going to be too dark so I'm not even going to like waste my time and try it out. I got the shade medium 330W and let me show you guys. I didn't even try it. On camera it probably looks like it could match me pretty good but I don't know maybe I will try it before. I take it back and get the lighter shade. The next item that I picked up from Target was the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. And this I wanted to try because I've heard such good things about this. However, I noticed that when I went to Target, I felt like they didn't really have like a good shade range. I was kind of like thrown off a little bit. The only reason why I didn't try this is because I got a new concealer from Sephora, the Rare Beauty one, and I've been using that one instead. So I haven't gotten a chance to actually try this guy yet, but I plan on it. I also picked up this Maybelline The Colossal Curl Bounce. You guys, I've been obsessed with this mascara. I don't know if you guys can tell, but right now I don't have lashes on. I just have mascara on, and my lashes are pretty long for the most part, but they do not curl. They are so straight. I need to actually buy an eyelash curler. I've been on a kick where I do not mind just having mascara on because I think they look really, really good. But like I said, I've been enjoying this. This reminds me so much of the Benefit Better Than, Benefit Better Than Sex. Wow, that's two different brands, two different mascaras. Um, this reminds me of the Benefit. Oh my God, I can't think of what this, what this was called, but it's their Curl Mascara. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I also got this sweatshirt from Target. I bought it in a large. It's just a plain like charcoal gray sweatshirt. I bought it in a large or maybe XL. I got it in a large because I was like, oh, I don't want it to be like cropped or anything like that. And I thought that the oversized look, I was gonna like it. But the way this is cut, it is not cute whatsoever. I tried to take pictures in this and it just looked horrible so I'm actually gonna take this back and maybe either downsize to a medium or even a small I think it's meant to have a big fit but like it just did not look good on me I like I was drowning in it I'm also five foot so it just was not cute whatsoever the next two things that I got are fragrances I showed you guys in my last vlog that I was really really obsessed with the mix bar from Target so they have like these little mist this is a different one than the one I showed you in my last video. This one is Coconut Palm, and in my last video I showed you guys Cloud Musk. So I actually went and picked up the Parfum of Cloud Musk, which is this guy right here, because I know for a fact that the Parfum is gonna last longer than the Mist. So the Mist I just keep in the car, throw it in my bag every now and then, but I definitely wanted to pick up the Cloud Musk Perfume because it smells so good. I'm literally obsessed. How cute is this packaging? Come through Target Fragrance. The coconut palm reminds me of a little bit more. It gives me like coconut vanilla e vibes. It smells really, really good. I'm actually really, really into it. Technically, before you guys see this vlog, you were supposed to see a different video go up, like a makeup tutorial go up, which you'll probably see right after this video. But in that video, I have a sponsorship with Dossier. I was waiting for like my little approval or whatever to come back that video unfortunately is going to end up going up after this vlog which is fine it is what it is this one is a dupe for baccarat and a baby when i tell you it smells exactly like baccarat i think it's a little bit more concentrated than baccarat but when i tell you baby this lingers this it gives luxury on a budget it lingers it is not like a mist this is a parfum it's so, so, so good. I also picked up Powdery Coconut, and this one's inspired by Tom Ford Sole Blanc. I think this is Sole Blanc. I'm pretty sure it is. Y'all already know that fragrances are super expensive, so when you can find something that you like on a budget, baby, why not, okay? And like I said, packagings are super cute, so I really am enjoying all three of those. I don't really do anything too crazy from Bath & Body Works anymore. I only like get the, every now and then I'll get like a lavender, like you know the sensual lotions that help you like fall asleep, or like the eucalyptus. I'll get one of those that like come in the glass bottles, and I normally use those, I buy those when I get like the little free item or whatever, it's like up to $15.90, whatever. It's a free item girl i will go buy it got the scent fresh away for each other morning crisp air 
is an absolute classic. I used to have the air fresheners of these. Turquoise waters. This is passion fruit and banana flower. Those are my little hand sanitizers that I picked up. And then I also went into H&M. Look at this cute little outfit. So Lele already has this outfit, but in pink. So when I seen it in the nude, I had to grab it. Um, it's funny because this little hat probably won't fit her. My baby got a lot of hair, but that's okay. Uh, but it's just super cozy and I don't know if you guys can tell but it's like ribbed She does have this in pink, but it was like a preemie size. So this one I got her in newborn And then I did get myself three things. Um, I got these cute little they look like bralettes to me But I know they don't have like real support So I was just gonna use them as like undershirts got this cute little bralette kind of thing You know real cute to just like be in the house it was five bucks and then I also picked up the same one but I picked up a nude and then I got this really really cute sage sweatsuit oh my goodness it's so cute I'm not really a fan of um, like zips I personally prefer like a pullover but I thought this was so freaking cute it has a hood on it the pockets the camera right now is not really giving it justice. Maybe I'll like insert a clip of it during the day. But I figured that like these two colors together, doing it for me, okay? First to match the sweatshirt, I picked up the matching like jogger bottoms. The color is so cute, I cannot wait to wear this. I got the, um, not the pullover, I got the zip up in an extra large and then I got the joggers in a small. Honestly, I'm hoping that the joggers don't fit a little snug because you guys know I'm like a little thick down here now ever since I had lay like I always had a little something something going on But ever since I had my daughter y'all she blessed with the little hips, you know I have hips before and now I do next thing that I'm sharing are my Bottegas for Christmas Baba got me my very first pair of Bottegas. I told him that I didn't want any bags I have so many tall bars Louis, I have it. I didn't want another bag this year, so he went and got me these boots, and I am so obsessed with them. I just feel like I can stomp someone out in them. They're so cute. So what actually happened was I got these for Christmas, and I got a five, and I needed a five. No, no, no. I got a five and a half, and I needed a six because the way that they fit the leather is very, like, stiff leather. I mean, the vid was outside. The new variant was outside. So I was not going outside with my baby, okay? So that's how you guys seen in the last vlog. It was, like, our first mall trip because I needed to exchange these out for another size. And I was able to wear them. Um, if you didn't already see my pick on the gram, go over to the gram so you can see my pick. <laughs> um, but they're so comfy. Um, and they're just like a timeless boot so I can't wait to get more use out of these next winter and even this winter because you know the weather we playing it might stay cold for a while like who knows at this point honestly you know last but not least I have a little mini Sephora haul if you will I picked up some re-ups and I picked up some new items so first and foremost I picked up these Olaplex items I picked up the bond maintenance shampoo that I've heard such good things about. Also heard amazing things about the number five. This is the Bond Maintenance Conditioner. And then lastly, I picked up the number six, which is the Bond Smoother. And this is something that you put in your hair like right before you go to style it. And when I tell you that this, you do not need a lot of, I put like a little bit goes a long way. For my texture of hair and like my type of hair, if I put too much styling cream or styling spray, anything like that into my hair, literally my hair will get greasy like it's too much and i already enjoyed how my hair felt after using these two products alone so i was like let me just put a little extra in my hair baby it wasn't that my hair was greasy i just had too much styling product in it my hair is already in a ponytail also because i do need my ends cut badly like i tried to do a bump on the end and the bump is not hiding these split ends and it's crazy because i just cut my hair in december normally i go six months without cutting my hair but my hair has just grown back so fast like i know i talk about it in every vlog but you guys know i cut my curtain bangs don't know why i did that but they're growing out really really nice right now first thing that i picked up was a new la mercier setting powder you guys know this is a tried and true this is nothing new i picked up the makeup forever hd skin foundation you guys will see this video next on my channel i also picked up the rare beauty concealer in the shade 240w this is a little bit on the yellow side for me so i might swap this out for the 230 but the 240 
it works for the time being. I also picked up this Lip Cheat lip liner. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is in everyone's favorite. It is an Iconic Nude. I feel like the reason why it took me so long to finally pick up Iconic Nude is because I cannot get enough of the KKW Nude 1.5, the Nude 2, Nude 2.5. Like those are my babies. I have so many of Nude 2. I think I have three or four of them. It's ridiculous at this point. Y'all know the vibes. You guys know. The last two things that I got that I wanted to show you guys are from Amazon. I picked up this super, super cute phone case. I don't know if I showed this already in this vlog, but if I did, sorry, you're hearing this again. And then I also got this really, really cute baby blanket for Lele. Um, it's from Amazon. It's actually all rolled up, so I really don't want to unroll it right now, but it is so cute. Look how cute and like neutral this is. I feel like a lot of things that I buy for Leia outside of like the things that I got for my baby shower, I like to buy unisex stuff because I like to think of the next baby. And I just thought this was so cute. This is like $15 on Amazon. Make sure you guys tune in to my next video. It is a review on the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. I let you guys know if I enjoy this or if I don't enjoy it and how good or how not good it was. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. That is all I have for you guys in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for all the love and support on the other vlogs and I hope I'm not like boring you guys to death. I hope you guys like actually enjoy these because I enjoy making them. I enjoy the editing. I enjoy the filming. All that jazz. And that's all I have for you guys in today's video. So I will catch you guys in my next video. Don't forget to tune in. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Yeah, I just wanna